welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori, and today I have a review for you. Uh, the company Had It On sent me this immersion cooker to try, and what it is is a sous vide machine. So sous vide in French means under vacuum, and this form of cooking is low and slow. So you set the temperature on the machine, it circulates the water, so it's immersed in water, and it cooks it over hours of time. That is sous vide. Um, there's lots of benefits to it. It makes your food softer. You can do eggs and they come out the perfect soft boiled every time. Um, you can do steak, seafood, all kinds of things. Um, so that is the machine. When it comes, it's in a box like this. I've taken it out. There are directions in it and obviously warranty information and stuff like that. But my favorite part, after it, you know, tells you how to cook everything or how to set it up, it comes with this handy guide that tells you what temperature to set it and how long to cook it. For example, if you want to cook a New York strip steak, it would take two to six hours at 129 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, what you would do is take your steak, you put oil, seasonings, you stick it into a zip top bag. If you want a decent quality, I would go with a freezer bag. Um, you set your immersion uh, cooker up, get the water up to temperature, you put that bag in and let it go. Two to six hours and you'll have the perfect steak. At the end, you could throw it on the grill, throw it in a pan just to sear it up, but internally it's perfect. Chicken is two to five hours, rib steak, again, two to six, sirloin is two to six, and then there's, you know, pages and pages. It gives you an idea of how long you want to cook something. So I'm going to, I have it out of its package. So when it comes out, this is what it looks like. It has a really nice stable cord, which is good because this is going to be on for a long time. Um, you know, set it and forget it. It's like crock pot cooking, really. So you have the really long cord and it's a nice heavy duty one. And it does have um, the three prongs. You have your attachment. So when you stick it in, and this also feels like it comes off to clean. It does come off. You put this in your pan, your vessel, and it holds it upright. Down here is where the water comes in and out, and these are your max and minimum waters. So you have to put it in between these lines. And then at the top is where you will set it for temperature and time. So I'll set it up. I have a pan behind me, and I'll show you what it looks like. All right, I have it set up in a pot of water, and they sell like kitchen stores, those clear buckets with lids. You can use one of those as well, and then you can see the circulation happening. I don't happen to have one, However, it will work in this pot. So I've attached it to the back, plugged it in. If you can see here the temperature, it's circulating right now and it's bringing it up to temperature. So there's a button here that'll set your time and temperature. I set it for six hours. Oh, there we go. See, it says 126 degrees for six hours. You do not have to touch these buttons hard. And then up here is your power start button. Um, and on either side is your temperature up, temperature down, time up, time down. So you just let it sit here. It's, you can't see it, but it is circulating the water. Here, I'll move it a little bit. Um, and it's just got to come up to temperature. Once it hits 126 degrees, um, I would then take my bag. I get these in Ikea. It's a very nice quality bag. I would put my meat, some seasoning, olive oil. You don't want it to stick. And then I get these at the Dollar Tree, these clips. You drop your food in there and I would just clip the bag to the side. You don't have to, but it keeps the bag from falling in. Um, I don't have any meat to cook right now, but I am going to let this do its thing. Here's some advice. You really want a clear vessel, I mean a clean vessel. Clear works good too, but you want to make sure there's no soap de debris, there's no food debris. Like here's a piece of lint that flew in. I want to get that out of there. Uh, ooh, sorry. Get that out of there. Um, the water circulates through the machine. Now you want to also watch your water levels if it gets, you know, too low. If I'm doing a six hour cook, I'm probably going to do maximum water. I don't 
feel like it's going to boil as far as boiling off your water but you know it's circulating and it's warm you can put a lid on it you don't have to um, they definitely sell sous vide specific pans but I don't feel like that's necessary um, quality of this product I think is great you definitely want to take care of anything you have so when it's done you unplug it you take it out and you let it dry completely before you would put it away because it does suck water up in and let me show you what that looks like so I'm going to turn it off because I don't really have a need to sous vide right now. So when it's done, you get your food up out of there and you want to drain the water out of it completely like that. And then what I'm gonna do, is sit it down, I'm gonna move my pot out of the way. So you get that out of here. And then I'm just gonna take a towel and let it come, you know, dry. You really want to get all the, you know, let it dry before you pack it up because there's moisture on the inside. So just let it lay there and it will dry. So I hope this was a great help for you. It is the Hadden Eon Immersion Cooker for sous vide, like a chef at home. All right, everybody, you have a good one. I'll talk to you later. Bye.